sun's at my back and coming up in the east and I'm heading south, southwest that way. Well, good morning, my fine feathered hiking friends. What you're looking at is the Hanging Rock State Park Visitor Center uh, in Hanging Rock State Park. And it's early, it's 618. I want to get started right at sunrise, it's 616. So I'm um, here's the parking lot. <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing is starting the segment eight. This is where I left off uh, last year. Uh, left my truck camper here. And uh, got a shuttle all the way back to the beginning of segment seven. And uh, hiked all the way to here. So it's a great morning. It's real breezy. I'm going to hope it stays cool. And if I see any sights along the way, The sun is just peeking over the horizon here. I'm, I wore my road walking shoes today because most of this segment is roads. So right now I'm on a kind of a dirt road trail slash trail inside the park. And it uh, looks like I'm taking this down to a uh, waterfalls. So maybe we'll get some good views there. So stay tuned. There's that sun. Hey everybody, come down to Hidden Falls down here. I had to take a little detour to get to it. There it is. A lot of rock formations and hanging rock. That's beautiful though. Good water source. Another view of the sunrise coming up over the crest of the ridge there. Pretty bright though. Hope you can see it okay. And we'll just continue this way. There's a little better view. A window waterfall. And goes all the way down. My first reptile on on the trail. I believe it's a little box turtle, but could be a snapping. We'll see. Got a little bit of a view here. Part of hanging rock, I would expect. Now I'm on my roadblock. Beautiful. Nice house. Nice view from their house.
Hey everybody, coming to my second junction. Getting into Danbury more. I make a right up here. This is a hospital, I do believe. Not sure there's anybody there. Little ice cream shop if you want to get some ice cream and some other things. Life Bright Community Hospital of Stokes. Coming into the city limits of Danbury. Registered for National Historic District. I have to go 35 through here. I can go, if I was going that way, I'd go 55. I am going to try to stop up here in a little cafe. It's a little cafe up here about a mile. Hey everybody, I'm walking by the Danbury Baptist Church. Got some picnic tables. If you want to take a break here, you can. I think they allow it. Can't guarantee it though. I would think it's very inviting for anybody hiking the MST. Coming into Danbury, North Carolina Civil War trails. There's the courthouse. I wonder if it's open. Stoneman's raid happened here. There's some businesses. It's open. Of course, it's 8, 8 o'clock, 8.22. It's a pretty courthouse, so. Going to be going by Maratuk Furnace, historic site. Help supply iron to the Confederacy. I'm going to be crossing over the Dan River here. In Danbury, North Carolina. I suppose if I wanted to take a dip, I could do it. Please take a look at it. Get a few pictures. I guess you can camp down here too. There it is.
everybody made it to my next junction to Pretty's General Store. I head that direction, I believe. Well, hey there, everybody. I'm at Pretty's General Store in Danbury, North Carolina. And, uh, I'm taking a little bit of a break. It's right around 10 o'clock, so I'm biding my time because it's getting hot. And uh, I've got another seven miles or so to go to get to that catfish pond and campground. Thought I'd say hello. Everything going good. I'm sore, but that's to be expected. Drinking a lot of fluids, that's for sure. I don't want to run out. Anyway, here we are. So after I left Pretty's General Store, I just kept on walking down the road and came to the Dan River again, and I decided to sit down and have a little bit of lunch, and I stayed for about 20 minutes there. I got up and I kept walking past the Hemlock Golf Course and then finally ended up at Jim Booth's Catfish Pond and Campground. And uh, after contemplating whether or not to stay there, I decided not to. And uh, I got a ride back to the Hanging Rock State Park by my trail angels. And um, that was the end of day one. Well, good morning, everybody. It's day two of my segment trek on uh, segment eight eastbound of the MST. Sorry about the jiggly here. I'm walking. I got to make hay. So I thought I'd make a short video this morning to kind of introduce you to what happened yesterday. I finished up uh, oh, about... 14 and a half miles at um, Jim, uh, what's his last name? Jim Booth's Catfish Pond and Campground. Well, uh, I had a uh, guy that was willing to shuttle me back to my truck at Hanging Rock, Chris Summerlin, and uh, he came and got me. And I, I had intentionally, I mean, I had originally intended to stay there at that go get my truck and then move it over to uh, this uh, Jim Booth's catfish pond and campground but when I got there it seemed a little sketchy uh, and they really didn't have RV sites with electric that I needed I just needed it for because it was open exposure it didn't have any shade trees I could even park under. Anyway, so uh, Chris came and got me and on the ride over to Hanging Rock to get my truck, he offered me to let me stay with him and his wife, Devin. And uh, I took him up on the offer. So I, I uh, pretty much followed him over to his house and, and uh, he put me up for the night there and then also uh, gave me a nice meal bacon lettuce and tomato sandwiches hold on chris works for duke energy and that was just a, a truck from a duke energy contractor anyway uh off in the distance i'll show you hold on Off in the distance, you see a power plant. I'm sure that's a Duke Energy, Energy uh, generating plant on some river. I'm not sure what river. The water tower you see in the distance is most likely Walnut Cove, and that's where I'm headed right now. So the goal today is about 18 miles. And uh, uh hope I don't struggle with it at the last, but yesterday boy it was getting hot and i was struggling but anyway i'm out in farm country right now uh coming up to route 311 which i'll make a right on and uh but 
this road hasn't been that much traffic but it's been peaceful and I'm walking in uh, the shade right now I'm gonna be getting into the Sun though I'm sure later today I'll be sweating a lot so anyway stay with me and I'll uh, show you the sights when I can thought I'd do a little selfie here Sun's at my back and coming up in the east and I'm heading south southwest that way hey all after about five miles of hiking on the road here maybe five and a half I reached the city limits of Walnut Cove and, yep I got another mile till I hit the main drag. And I think I'm gonna stop. Oh, there's a like go to the bathroom. By the time I had arrived in Walnut Cove, I'd been hiking about three and a half hours. And I was contemplating having lunch there, but none of the restaurants were open, including the milk bar. Uh, was not going to open for another half hour, so I decided to press on. They did happen to fill my water bottles for me and allow me to use their bathrooms, though, before it opened. Hey all, we're leaving Stokes County and heading into Forsyth County. Still a road walking on Route 65. Heading eastbound. I kept hiking down Route 65. My next stop was going to be the Dollar General. However, along the way, about a mile before I reached the Dollar General, there's this little grocery store, convenience store on the corner called White's Grocery. So I walked across the road and entered the building and it felt so cool because of their air conditioning and they did have sandwiches and it, and uh, they did have one small table and a couple of chairs I could sit down at. And the lady that was the proprietor there knew about the mountains, the sea trail, so she invited me just to stay and have a sandwich and relax. My next stop was Ballou's Creek, and Ballou's Creek is where the Duke Energy Power Generating Plant was located. I kept hiking along the way. I came to some ground that had been settled by a man named Thomas Linville, and his namesake uh, is of the Linville Gorge and Linville Falls uh, area. I en ended the day at the Cascades Preserve uh, and I hiked approximately about 18 miles that day. So it was a great day of road walking. Well, good morning, everybody. As you can see, I'm in the woods. Uh, this is a little preserve, it's called Cascades Preserve. It's in Summerfield area. <coughs> and it's about a three and a half mile loop. Actually, I'm not going to be going the loop because loop would take me back to the parking lot and that's not where I want to go. I want to continue off of this trail to the right at some point uh, after we get maybe 2.7 miles in and then it'll veer off to the right and we'll keep going eastbound on the MST and but I wanted to give you an idea Starting leg three, which is day three, my day three of segment eight. 
of the MST. This is pretty in here. It's dark, no sun can get in here, lots of canopy. So it's cool at this point. Temperature is supposed to be going up in the high 80s today. No rain forecast. But thought I would give you a proper good morning. When I got out of Chris's truck this morning after he shuttled me over here, I left my hiking pole stick, trekking pole in the truck. I'm gonna be going over a little bridge right here, over a little creek. You'll see it. If I'm... There it is. Anyway, we're on the loop part right now. Uh, and it's a nice little inner uh, community uh, hiking trail. Well, maintained it looks like but anyway good morning and i'll be back with you with the, whatever sites i can show you didn't have too many yesterday but did the best i could so you'll see as i go along here what's going on talk to you soon the sun's been up for a while but it's pretty through the trees here i came from that direction and I'm heading that direction. So, southwest, south, something like that. More south. But it's pretty through here. A nicely maintained trail. Some mushrooms. I started a little bit of a road walk here, and I'm going to duck back into the woods up ahead, but it's uh, kind of a gravel sidewalk, which I'm not too fond of walking in. It gives you an idea of what, what it would be like walking in sand, but I'm not sure how far along this gravel goes. It might be a too, so anyway, still heading eastbound. Got a nice breeze this morning. Trying to beat the sun coming up as much as I can. All right, come along this little beaver pond here. I don't want to get too far out there because the sun will blind our shot. But anyway, that's a nice little sight. Probably a few beavers in there. There's, there's some turtles and frogs. Continue to go this way. This and those bullfrogs. Hey, we're coming to the terminus of the trail in Cascades Preserve. I'm thinking this last section between the roadwalk there is still Cascades Preserve. Here's a map. I'll 
take a look at. There's mountains to the sea. Drawing? Not a drawing, it's a it's on the billboard. Oh, nothing here yet. And here's the new terminus or trailhead, whatever you want to call it. Alrighty. We decided to take a little break at this park. Just a walking, jogging park, pavilion. It's got bathrooms down there. And it's got a walkway that walks around. Not too many people here today. A little fire pit here. There's a beautiful stand of bamboo here in Oak Ridge as you're walking along the park. Don't often see this much bamboo in one place. It's about 10, 12 feet deep into the woods too. Here's the Stafford Benbow House built in 1865. He was the county sheriff. Come up on the Oak Ridge Military Academy, established in 1852. Wow. When I get a better picture of the building, there's the football field down there. Just to have a football team. Coming through Oak Ridge here. There's an old building. Oh, it has a plaque on it. Military Academy. Right here. The old barber shop. Bridge Military Academy looks like the schoolhouse. There's a cannon and caisson on this side of the road. You have another building. There's another neat house here. Large house. Interesting. JL Sawyer House. Established in 1994. That's the historic district. National Folk Style Farmhouse of J.L. Sawyer, a barber, at the Oak Ridge Military Institute, built on stone foundation with this double slope Dutch gamble roof. Cool. Good picture. Hey, coming into Summerfield.
There's the bridge that goes over 73. Pretty sure this is 73. Hey everybody, this is Summerfield Trails and the future A and Y Greenway. We'll head from the tunnel south west into woods north to Summerfield Road and end at north of Community Park. So, going through the tunnel, get me on the other side of 220. Then we've done some nice artwork here. Hey, hey! Let's go! Hey everybody! I'm on the Piedmont Atlantic Greenaway. And this is Lake Higgins. We're crossing. Well, we're going to be crossing up here. A lot of kudzu. Of course, this is a bench I'm going to stop because my dogs are killing me. Anyway, good views of the lake. There's 220 up there. Well, good morning, everybody. I am at Vermill Park uh, at Lake Higgins, and then there's another lake over here. I'm <clears throat> beginning my day four trek along segment eight of the Mountains to Sea Trail. So I've got 18 miles to do today, all the way to the terminus of this segment. So I'll keep you apprised. I'll show you the views hopefully it's early about 625 so I'm getting started to try to beat the heat today so I'll talk to you soon okay back on the greenaway there's the mill up there <clears throat> I'm gonna go out on the boat dock and see if I can get a better view of Lake Brant there we go just an observation deck, really. Well, I bet you there's some fish in there. There's Lake Brant. So I'll be skirting around in and out of the coves around that side over there. And then back up. Gonna be going down Owl's Roost Trail. This is just regular trail. It is a bike trail too, not a bike trail, so like seeing a few of those today <clears throat> so far not too rooty there's the uh, MST blaze up on that tree so I'm on the right trail
Well, good morning, girl. Are you just going to stand there? They finally got the sun peeking through over the lake, Lake Brant. Might be neat down by the water's edge to get a better video, but this is through the trees, so it's pretty nice. I came down by the water's edge here on Lake Brant. Water looks pretty clear. And I think that, I'm not sure, but that might be a dam or uh, I think I'm going to be walking across that, but I can't be sure. Maybe part of the um, the bike way, the uh, green away, green way. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, thought I'd give you a proper good morning. Lake Brant behind me. I'm into it maybe two miles today, maybe a little bit further. I just thought I'd take a water break and it's about 6 20 or 5 or 7 23, so I'll be on the trail almost an hour. So I'm going to be a little under three miles per hour, I'm pretty sure. I'm moving along pretty quick. The trail's pretty flat and not real rooty, but uh, a lot of people use it as a mountain bike trail. So anyway, good view behind me, huh? Talk to you soon. I will talk to you soon. Barry Wicker, this segment of trail is for you. Since I know how you like shots of the trail. I am on the Owl's Roost Trail near Greensboro, North Carolina. I believe this is a trail that you would like. It's fairly easy. Not too many routes. There are some very few rocks, well maintained, fairly flat. But this trail, the Owl's Roost, is part of segment eight of the Mountains to Sea Trail. Owl's Roost. MST Blaze. Hope you enjoyed. So just after you cross the little bridge over Lake Brant, about 500 yards, this is the Nate Green Trail. It's rated easy. There's the map. We're right there, and we're going to be skirting along Lake Brant again. There's the MST Blaze. Hey y'all, I'm at the Laurel Bluff Trail on Lake Brant Road, Church Street, about three and a half miles. that direction. That's where I came from. We're even Lake Brant. Okay, okay. We're getting 
going. Hey, everybody. Come to an impassable trail. Well, I'm going to pass through it, but and a nice view. Along this, I guess it's kudzu. So, better get it going. There's even a better view, more wide open. Well, look at this stuff I'm cutting through though. Having lunch by the water's edge, trying to dry out. There's my my shirt. I'm thinking about getting in, but <clears throat> the minute I get in, I don't know if I can get back out. <laughs> How do I look? Do I look pretty? Hmm. That's what I'm having for lunch. Now, I'll put down at the bottom what that is. I can't remember the name. I got it at a Mexican restaurant last night. Hey, my fine trailer hiking friends. I've come to Church Street. It's 11.52. Still hike along the uh, lake. So I gotta keep going to get to civilization. Came from that way. Cool little bridge. Nice boardwalk here. Water's flowing in. Nice. A lot of it's new. I hear thunder in the background, so I'm probably going to get rained on. When I hiked past Church Street eastbound, uh, I had about seven miles to go to the terminus, and I ran into the most hellacious rainstorm that there was. And finally, I ended up my journey for this segment, and my trail angel, Josh, uh, was able to transport me back to my truck. <laughs>